In this video, we are going to review bike assembly. We're going to use as an example uh, this full suspension bike. We have all of our parts laid out. Uh, we're going to be putting the frame together with our fork and the headset. We have cranks, and chain rings, bars, uh, grip stem, shifters, chain, uh, derailleurs selected, accessories such as a bottle cage, small parts for the brakes, and tires, tubes, uh, rotors are ready, uh, brakes, brake tubing, caliper brake, brake lever, our rear wheel uh, is going to be tubeless. We're going to convert with the uh, tape system to a tubeless system here. Front one seems to be already done. Uh, so that's going to be this video of uh, the procedure and the order and the processes of uh, assembling, uh, assembling a bike. Uh, what else we have? We seem to have uh, enough tools, a uh, good selection of tools, very important thing. So we are uh, ready to proceed. We're going to do a little frame preparation here. Uh, we're going to begin with some machining of the head tube. This will ensure that our, uh, our cups here, bearing holders, are going to sit square parallel to one another for uh, good steering. Uh, look at a couple other things on the frame. Uh, we use a head tube reamer and facer unit here. This is the HTR1. We've set it with a, a facer and this pilot. Uh, the pilot is going to be used rather than the reamer because we're not worried about the inside diameter uh, on this, this bike, the pilot fits in. So that tells us that our diameter is pretty good. Uh, we're going to run this up uh, to center it. We do need some uh, little cutting fluid here. I'm going to tilt this down put some fluid on the cutting teeth and do what we call facing. Increase a little tension here on the, the bottom cone and rotate nice and easy on the top. Just a few turns and check and see how how uh, we are looking. That is a nice clean cut there. So we're faced. We'll now repeat this on the opposite side. This headset here, we have the oversized ZS44 at the top. The lower one you'll notice is tapered. That's the ZS56. We'll have to use a different pilot and face the bottom one. Uh, but the same same style of procedure. Uh, after doing that, we will look at some of the other frame here. Uh, something to always look at. We pulled off the collar and we want to feel the inside of our compression slot here. If this is sharp, if we feel sharpness here, we want to come in here with some emery cloth uh, this would be scratching our, our post. If that's a carbon post we have, that is not healthy for the carbon post. Uh, aesthetically, it would scratch an aluminum post, so we want to uh, make sure those are, are dulled, no sharp teeth, no sharp edges on the inside uh, on our seat tube. After we have faced the, uh, the head tube of the frame, we're going to check also the, uh, the fork crown seat here to see if that's square with what's called the uh, crown raise cutter. This will uh, get some cutting fluid on the teeth here. This is just a simple check to see if uh, everything is square and nice. Gonna do some light facing here and then inspect. A oh, good bit more to go. Downward pressure. 
Well, yeah, we're getting some some trim off. The paint is really not the concern here. It's the uh, aluminum. We see we have some cutting going on uh, one side, and the paint indicates a low spot on the other. So it's important here we apply downward even pressure, and then now clean slight low spot here continue on with the facing this will ensure that the crown race is square to the axis of the steering column and that's of course square with our our head tube so clean all the way around looks pretty nice so that is ready to go, uh, but we will not be doing the, uh, the fork installation next. We're actually moving to the drivetrain.